Welcome to my beautiful apartment here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today I'm going to teach you all the English you need to give an apartment tour in English. Now, yesterday I told you how you could use this idea to make money. Okay, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll post it right up here at the end of this video. Giving an apartment tour is so easy. You just need to remember these five things, okay? Introduction, descriptions, transitions, personal opinions, and the ending. So your introduction, how are you going to start the video? Well, you could say something simple like, welcome to this beautiful apartment here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of this apartment. Just something easy like that, okay? And you're going to need description. You're going to be describing everything, right? I mean, what does it look like? Uh, you know, you're going to be using words like cute and cozy, you know, large, um, beautiful, those kind of description words, right? The, the bathroom is cute or the, the kitchen is nice and cozy. Okay, it's, it's not good to use the word small when you're giving an apartment tour. The words cute and cozy are much nicer. They're sort of more positive and more friendly than if you, if you describe something as small. Okay, uh, also transitions. Okay, what's a transition? Well, what are you going to say when you move from one room to the next room? You're going to say something like this. All right, now let's move into the kitchen. Okay. All right, you're, you're, you're going from one thing to another. That's what the word transition means, okay? Also, you're going to give some personal opinions. Let me ask you a question. What kind of mood do you want to have in your video? What kind of feeling do you want your viewers to get? Do you want your video to be sad? I hate this apartment. It's, it's not a good apartment. It's, it's really small. Uh, you know, if I were you, I wouldn't live here in this apartment. It really sucks. <laughs> no, you don't want your video to be sad. Do you want your video to be funny? Well, probably not. I mean, you could make it funny if you want, but people probably aren't, you know, wanting to watch a funny video. Uh, what about professional? Do you want your video to be professional? Yeah, that would probably be good. Now, one of the problems with being professional is sometimes people are too serious. Today, I'm going to show you this apartment. Let's start in the bedroom and move into the living room and the kitchen. You know, it's just, it's a bit cold and, you know, a bit impersonal. Okay, so you want to make the video personal. You want it to be professional and personal. I would say that's the best kind of feeling to have. So I think it's a great idea to give it a sort of a personal touch. Okay, for example, you could say, I think you're going to love this kitchen. Or, you know, my favorite thing about this condo is this huge bedroom window, which lets in a lot of natural light. Okay, you're sort of giving your, your personal feeling, you know, what, what you like or what you think the other person is going to like. I think you're going to love I think you're going to love this, this king size bed, something like that, right? You're just trying to make it a bit, a bit more personal instead of just having it like really professional and sort of cold. Just imagine you're inviting someone into your own house and, and you're giving them a tour, right? It's, it should be a sort of a nice friendly atmosphere. Okay. So then the ending, how are you going to end the video? You could say something like, well, thank you so much for joining me in today's tour. If you have any questions about this apartment, you can let me know right down there in the comments. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so that's it. Introduction, descriptions, transitions, personal opinions, and the ending. Now, here you can see I wrote variety. Variety. Now, this is really important because when you're giving a tour of a house or apartment, you know, sometimes you just end up saying the same thing over and over again, right? In your descriptions, you might say the word nice or the word beautiful all the time. Or for the transitions, you know, you want to have some variety. You don't just want to say, 
All right, now let's go into the bedroom. All right, now let's go to the living room. All right, now let's go to the bathroom. You know, you're saying the same thing over and over again. So it's good to have some variety. Now, I've posted a lot of sample sentences for you down there in the description. So you're welcome to use those in your own video, or you can just use those as sort of a guideline and, and make up your own words and phrases. But I just want to make it as simple as I can for you. So just take a look at, at all those sentences. There's a lot of examples in all of these areas, right? Some sample introductions, sample descriptions, sample transitions, personal opinions, and ending. Well, I hear a plane flying over my apartment right now. So I think that's my cue to start the tour. All right, let's go. Welcome to this beautiful apartment here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Now this apartment costs 9,000 baht per month, which is roughly 300 US dollars per month. And it comes fully furnished. Okay, so it's ready to move in. You don't need to buy anything. Now, as you can see, the living room is fairly large and it comes with a nice sofa, a white coffee table and white dining table to match the bright tone of this apartment. Now, if you would like to add some artwork to the walls to, to suit your taste, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, now the living room is separated from the bedroom by these beautiful sliding glass doors. And as you enter the bedroom, the first thing you'll notice is this huge bedroom window, which lets in a lot of natural light. You have a gorgeous view of some lush green trees and tropical Thai plants. It's really a beautiful place to live. Now, if you want some privacy or if you want to block the light, there are some nice thick drapes here which block the light completely. So it gets really nice and dark. Now, the bed is a nice king size bed with a very comfortable mattress. So I'm sure you'll sleep deeply every night here. Also, the room has a wardrobe, which provides more than enough space for all your clothing and other personal belongings. Welcome to the kitchen. It's a very simple design, but it'll meet all your needs. You have some nice shelves here, a microwave, also some shelves under here, and a nice sink and a dish rack. Dishes, more than enough for you to just move in. Like I said, it's fully furnished. You can just come and you don't have to buy anything and enjoy your stay here in Chiang Mai. Also a nice modern fridge, fridge and freezer to store all your perishable foods. Now my favorite part of this apartment is this really cozy balcony. It's, uh, it's so cute, just a personal size balcony. You can have a chair out here if you want. Now you have a, a washing machine, which also works as a dryer as well. So, or if you want to air dry your clothes, you can use these hangers and hang them here on this nice rack to dry. Now the, the cooking is out here uh, on the balcony. You have a, a little stove here to do your cooking. Most apartments in Thailand don't have um, a stove in the kitchen. So we have this set up here for you to do cooking and uh, so you can just enjoy the outdoors, cooking outdoors. Again, the bathroom is very simple and clean. You have all the essentials a very nice shower, a toilet, and a sink. Well, that's just been a quick look at uh, the rooms in this apartment, the, the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen, the balcony, and now the bathroom. Thank you so much for joining me in this tour today here at Mark's Real Estate Company. We look forward to doing business with you in the future. If you have any questions or comments, Leave them down there below this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right, how did I do? Did I do okay? I probably didn't look very professional. Maybe if you make a video like that, you should wear a nice shirt and some nice pants. But anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the English that you could use um, in your video. Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference between a condo and an apartment? Well, basically nothing. You could, you could use whichever word you want, okay? Condo or apartment. Uh, now, one thing you, you might need to know is the names of the rooms. Now, for a condo like this, it's really simple. 
right? There's just a living room, a bathroom, a kitchen, a balcony, and a bedroom. Um, but in a house, like if you're giving a tour of a house back in Canada, let's say, you know, the house might have an entryway or it might have a hallway, it might have a hall with some rooms on the side. It might have a, it might have a, a basement or an attic. Okay, the very top of the house that is usually used for storage, that's called the attic. Um, so yeah, it could have different, different places like that. Also, with the furniture, you'll remember that I used the word wardrobe. What's the difference between a closet and a wardrobe? Well, usually when I think of a closet, I think of something that is built into the house. Like back in Canada, most of the houses have closets. It's like something in the wall. Whereas here in Asia, they don't build closets into the walls. You have to buy, you have to buy a piece of furniture called a wardrobe. Okay. So it depends on, you know, like, like if you're giving this tour back in Canada or in the U S you know, the names of furniture might be a little bit different. You know, is it a sofa or a couch? You know, you, you have to decide which it probably doesn't really matter, but just those small things, the names of furniture, the names of the rooms, you might just need to, to look up specifically what a certain thing is called. You know, you should practice. I didn't really practice before I made this video. Uh, so I'm sure you could make a better video than I did if you practice a little bit and think, you know, about what you want to say. Okay, now let's talk about descriptions. What are some good descriptive words you can use? Well, the word bright is really good bright or well lit. And if you talk about natural light, that's always good. People like natural light, you know, a big window or something like that. Also brand new, you know, maybe the, maybe the apartment is brand new or maybe the floor is brand new or, you know, maybe the, the kitchen is newly renovated. Okay. So the word newly renovated or brand new, those are really good words. If it's true, if it's not true, well, then don't lie. But if it is true, you should probably mention those things. Now, there are different words we can use to describe the size of a room. You could say it's large or it's roomy or it's spacious. If it's small, you could say cute or cozy or simple. You know, like I described the, I described the kitchen and the bathroom, I think, as simple. Now, in my opinion, the word simple is a good thing. You know, I like simple things. If something is too fancy, I mean, I don't know. It depends on the person. What do you think? In your opinion, is the word simple a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I like the word simple. So you can decide. You could talk about other things. You could talk about like the smell of the apartment. You know, you, you could, you could say that, uh, it has a lot of fresh air. Actually, I was going to mention that I was going to say, if you open the window, the big bedroom window, and open the, the balcony there, then uh, there's lots of fresh air in here. So that's great. So you might want to talk about the airflow. An apartment has good airflow, fresh air. Uh, maybe it's non-smoking. You know, maybe there's never been any smokers in the condo. You know, you could talk about different conveniences that the condo has. Uh, does it have hot water? You know, not every apartment in the world has hot water. So that's a good thing. Does the apartment have Wi-Fi? That would be good to know. You know, does it have conveniences like Wi-Fi? Uh, what about a, a supermarket, a grocery store? Is there is there a place to go shopping near the apartment? You know, if there's a if there's a store nearby, hey, you should you should talk about that. People like those kinds of conveniences. You know, maybe the maybe there's a swimming pool near the condo, or maybe the condo building has its own swimming pool. You know, stuff like that would be would be great to talk about. You know, you could talk about other things like. Um, if, if the washing machine is eco-friendly or maybe the fridge is eco-friendly, you know, some people like those kinds of things, you know, maybe the building has 24 hour security. Maybe you have some new smart locks on the door. Okay. Those kinds of things, you know, especially if you want to make a longer video, like I would say, if it's going to be about 10 minutes or longer, you know, you might want to add some more details like that, you know, People like details, especially if you really want to get someone to rent your condo long term, or, you know, if you're working for a real estate company and you want to sell a condo, 
Well, if someone's going to buy a condo, they want to know about all those things. So you can decide if you want to make sort of a, a just a brief video like I did, just sort of giving a, a brief tour, or, or if you want to make a more in-depth video, you know, that would be great. All right, let's talk about transitions. Now, I think the two words that you'll use the most in transitions are all right and okay. All right, let's move into this room. Okay, let's go here. You know, it's just those are very common words. I think it's okay to use those. But just like I said, try try not to say the same word too many times in, in the tour. Okay, so here's some transitions. When you enter the, you'll notice the, Okay, so I've posted some, some sample sentences down there in the description if you want to just copy and paste them or if, if you want to just think about them for a little bit. Okay, so when you enter the, the kitchen, you'll notice the... Okay, or when you enter the... The first thing you'll notice is the... Okay, now the first thing you'll notice when you enter the... Is the... Okay, so all of these are sort of the same, but I just want to give you... I just want to give you some other ways of saying the same thing. Now let's move into the, let's move into the bedroom. Okay. Or next I'll show you the kitchen. Next let's move into the living room. Okay. So those are some, some sample sentences there for transitions. Now what about, what about personal opinions? You know, it's just nice to add something personal just to, to spice up your video a little bit. So you could say, uh, one thing that's great about this apartment is that it has lots of storage space. Okay, or the thing I like most about this apartment is the nice view. Or uh, I think you'll enjoy the fresh air. I think you'll appreciate the new hardwood floor. Okay, or my favorite thing about this apartment is the south facing balcony. Okay, so those are some some ideas for some personal opinions, some different sample sentences. You know, the grammar is uh, sometimes in English it's it's hard to make it's hard to know you know what the right grammar is. If you change one part of the sentence, then sometimes the other part needs to change too. So these sent these sentences are are correct. You can use them. You can change them. However, however you want to do it, it's up to you. But I just wanted to give you some options that you can use. Okay, so when it comes to the introduction, you know, sometimes sometimes the introduction and the ending are the hardest. Even though they're the simplest, they're, they're sometimes the hardest. If you make this video for the first time, and I hope some of you guys make a video like this and post your link down in the comments so that I can watch your video. I would love to watch your video if you really make a video like this. I'll be the first to give you a thumbs up. Okay, so, so for the introduction, you know, you could just say something simple, like, welcome to Mark's Real Estate Company. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of this beautiful condo in Calgary, Alberta. Right? Just a really simple sentence like that. And for closing, you could say, all right, thank you so much for joining me in this tour. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can get in touch with me in the comments or by email. My email is in the description. Something like that. You know, just, just keep it simple. And, uh, and yeah, I hope, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that's, that gives you some, some English, you know, sentences, structure that you can use if you make a video. Like I said, I would love it if you guys make a video and, and send me the link so I can see, so I can see how, you know, how this is benefiting you. I would love that. It makes a teacher happy when a teacher can see, you know, the students actually doing something and, and seeing, you know, how it turns out. So I hope you guys do that. Remember, post the link down in the comments. Hey, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Mad English TV. And I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.